Hi everybody, I'm Jack. I'm one of the product gurus here at Shar Music and today I'm talking about Yumba Bass Rosin. Yumba Rosin comes to us from Argentina. They claim that the all-natural ingredients in their rosins help keep your bow hair healthier longer as well as prevent any sort of discoloration. On top of that, they say that this should be good for both orchestral and solo work, and I'm looking forward to putting that to the test later in the practice room. The name Yumba is derived from a tango, La Yumba, written by Osvaldo Pugliese. I bring this up because I'm hoping that their rosin reflects some of the characteristics of that tango, namely that nice strong attack that you hear in the rhythm section. It's where the name comes from. Yumba, Yumba. I'm really hoping that their rosin helps give me that same nice strong attack on all of my strings. Yumba's latest beeline rosin has a very strange ingredient, beeswax. I've never heard of a rosin that uses beeswax in its formula before, so I'm very curious to see how this wax is going to affect its grip as well as the residue it leaves behind. Since it is such a unique ingredient, I reached out to Yumba for a little bit more information. Of course, they couldn't share the entire formula with me, but they did tell me that the wax comes from a special sort of bee called a nunnia, but I couldn't get any further information as to why they chose nunnia beeswax. So before we head into the practice room, I'd like to go over my methodology real quick. I'm looking for three things. One, grip. This rosin needs to help me pull sound out of my instrument, but it can't be so sticky that it slows me down. Two, ease of use. If I am between movements, if I am between pieces, the very last thing that I want to be messing with is the container for the rosin. Number three, residue. Nobody likes a lot of rosin dust all over their strings and instrument, so I'll be paying attention to how much residue is left over after we play, as well as how easy it is to clean up. I will be using Pops' bass rosin to compare against, as that's also a really nice balance between orchestral and solo work, and I think it'll be a good comparator for this stuff. So all that being said, why don't we head over to the practice room and see just how well Yumba's Beeline bass rosin stacks up. Man. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the, a little bit of the Pops just sure. to figure out what the bass is up to. <laughs> Not as much grip? Not as much grip, no. Hmm. It's the pops. But you're right, I think it does have like a slightly more mellow sound than the pops, do you think? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. Add some more. Just see what happens when I Sure. As far as ease of use, like it's it's Relatively easy to get out of that container. Like, yeah, I yeah. see your point about uh, absolutely. You know, having that the lid be a separate bit. Yeah, ease of use definitely for like just general rosining for sure. Yeah, um, I'm not sure about and really the the curiosity I had was like if you're in mid concert mm -hmm. having a container made of metal. Sure. That you need to clattering pick up, around. clattering around, picking up, needing to put on a stand. But that being said. You really could just bring this out on stage with you. This stuff isn't super soft. It's going to mm -hmm. retain its shape. Yeah. So if you leave this in your case, and then this is what you have on your stand with you, that's actually easier to use. Sure. Than most other rosins. Fair enough. Yeah. If you just leave it like that. Point. And I don't think it's going to cause any issues doing that either, as far as like drying out the rosin prematurely. Right. And if this is more like wax based, it's a beeswax? Yeah, yeah, beeswax. We need to fix the G string on this one. But that's fine. Definitely 
has that mellower sound to it. So if you're looking for... If you want like a smooth sound quality, sure. like the tone is sounds really pure. I'm not getting much bow noise right. out of this at all. No, I'm not hearing it either. Where Pops has that sort of growl a little under bit. the string. It has that, it sort of pushes those upper harmonics a little more. strings too it seems like it's pretty much even residue between the both yeah yeah pretty much I will say that the Yumba rubs off easier yeah the, the Yumba comes off a lot easier than the pops does interesting so I don't know just easy comes right off nice if I use the pops it's like I'm subconsciously wired to be able to play pops <laughs> <laughs> the rosin speaks my language <laughs> it's just because I've used it for so long yep. hear it yeah. being scraped off that So I don't, I don't know what that means for long term. Like if the Yumba is going to produce more or less residue over time, the Yumba does clean off the strings a lot easier though. Okay. It pops. Cool. Nice. Yeah. So now that we're back here in the studio, the big question is, could I recommend Yumba's Beeline Bass Rosin? Well, going back to our metrics, number one, grip. Personally, I thought it was superb. I thought it really held true to its namesake, that La Yumba Tango. I was able to get a nice powerful attack on all of my strings without a heck of a lot of energy on my part. I'm a big fan of the way this stuff grips my strings. Number two, the ease of use. AJ brought up a very good point. I would not bring the metal container out on stage with me. All that noise, mmm, conductor's gonna look at you like you're crazy. But. Taking it out just in its little cloth all wrapped up, you'll be just fine, and I think that's a perfect way to, to use it. Lastly, the residue. Uh, by the time we were done, I thought it gave us about as much residue as the Pops Bass Rosin, uh, and it was just a breeze to clean up. It just a couple of strokes with the, uh, the old rag, and it was off of our strings. Easy enough. So all that being said, could I recommend Yumba's Beeline Bass Rosin? Absolutely, I was a big fan. Uh, as a matter of fact, this may be my primary rosin for the foreseeable future. I liked it that much. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you here next time on The Workshop. <laughs>